Hey folks, we're going to attempt to make a better burner for our cooking pot furnace here. I have been using this Harbor Freight torch for almost 10 years for all kinds of things, but this is definitely not the most efficient design for the furnace, so we're going to try to make something better. Alright, so here's our shopping list. We're going to need to start with um, 8 inches by 3 quarts black pipe nipple. I don't know why they call it a nipple, but it's a black pipe, black iron pipe with threads on both ends. We're going to need a 1 and a quarter inches by 3 quarts reducer. This can be galvanized iron, but you don't want anything else to be galvanized iron. This does not get hot, everything else does. You don't want to breathe the fumes from galvanized iron. We're going to need 1 inch to 3 quarts coupling, reducing coupling. I got two because I want to do an experiment. Then we need a ball valve. This is a quarter inch ball valve. We're going to need a quarter inch square head plug. We're going to need a quarter inch to quarter inch coupling. And a quarter inch by two inches nipple. This doesn't look like any nipple I've known. We also need a hose of some sort. We're, going to, we're not going to cover that here. You need to figure out what hose you want to use, but it has to be rated for propane. I'm using the hose that came with the Harbor Freight torch. And I put an adapter in the end of it. Also speaking of not improvising, you need to use the yellow Teflon tape rated for propane. Do not improvise, the stuff is dangerous. It's flammable, it's explosive, it displaces oxygen, it will choke you, it will blow you up, it will kill you. So don't mess around with it. And let's get started. Well, I made a noob mistake, I pressed the take picture button instead of record video, so I don't have the footage of drilling holes for this thing, unfortunately. But uh, here's the gist of it. You drill four holes on this part, one on this side, and one on this side, and then between them, well, be between them, on, the, on, on this lower edge here, you drill a hole, and another one on the other side. The purpose for that is so we can put screws here on all four sides, and those screws will go through, and they will hold our fuel injection system in place. So here's how you put this all together. This is our mixing tube. This goes on this end. This part here goes on this end. This is the nozzle. And this, I also lost the footage of it. You want to drill a hole as much in the center as you can with a number 57 drill. That amounts to about 1.09 millimeters if you're going to measure your drills. It's tiny. This gets mounted to this, that gets mounted to this, that gets mounted to this, that attaches to the hose. So now let's put some Teflon tape on all this stuff and get it all together. just attach this to the end and make a nozzle, but I want to experiment with removing the threads inside here and making it a smoother inside, so let's see how that goes. Now that it's all together, as you put it to the propane tank, we need to check it for leaks. To check it for leaks, it's really easy. We'll just mix some dish detergent with a little bit of water. We're gonna take our soapy water and we'll put on every place that we made a connection. And if there is a leak, it's going to bubble up. Once we've checked that there are no leaks, we will very gently light it up. Open the valve just until you hear the hissing of gas. That's a lot of hiss. I'm gonna go slower. And 
this unevenness of the color here, it's brighter on this side, it's darker on that side, that means that my fuel is not coming straight down the pipe, so I have to adjust the little injector thing. That's what those little screws are for. Now we've got an even shape on the flame, that is much better. 